So in this video, we've got a body of mass 9 kilos is pulled along a rough horizontal table by a horizontal force of magnitude 45 newtons against a constant friction force of magnitude 10 newtons. Given that the body is initially at rest, find, first of all, the acceleration of the body. OK, so we want to draw a diagram so we can visualise what's going on here. So here is the block, or the body, uh, 9 kilos is its mass. It's on a rough horizontal table. It's being pulled along uh, by a force of 45 newtons, and it's encountering a constant friction force of magnitude 10 newtons. We would also have the weight working vertically downwards, which is mass times gravity, so 9 times g. And we'd have a normal reaction force as well. So, oh, and we're accelerating, aren't we? So we can pop that in. Accelerating to the right. So to find that acceleration, I'm going to resolve horizontally, taking to the right as positive, because that's the way the acceleration is going. So we've got the net force, 45, working this way, 10 newtons working that way, is equal to mass times acceleration, F equals MA. So 45 take away 10 is 35, 35 divided by 9. So it's 35 ninths metres per second per second. We're now asked to find the time it takes the body to travel 100 metres. So that requires us to use the SUVAT equations. So S here would be 100. The U is going to be zero because we know that the body is initially at rest. We don't know the final velocity. The acceleration is 35 ninths. And I want to find the time it takes. So I want to find time. So I'd like the equation uh, to not have V in it. And so that's the third one. So S equals UT plus a half AT squared. So 100 is equal to UT, so zero times T, so zero plus one-half times a, 35 ninths, times t squared. OK, so um, we've got the 100. I'm going to times both sides by 2. Then I'm going to times both sides by 9, and then divide it by 35. So I get 360 over 7. So square root that, and I get 6 root 70 over 7 which is 7.17 seconds to 3 sig fig. OK? Now, if gravity was involved, I'd put it to 2 sig fig. OK? Um, well, depending on the accuracy of gravity. So I'm going to just keep it as 3 significant figures here. Right. Now, the velocity of the body when it has travelled 100 metres. So now, what I can do is I can write in that I want velocity. OK? I'm going to use uh, solve it using the SUVAT equations um, without requirement of using part B. Okay, so I can go just with that information. So I want V, I want the equation that doesn't have T in it, which is the last one. So V squared is what I want to find, is equal to U squared, so zero, plus two lots of A times S. So 2 lots of 35 over 9 times by 100 is 7,000 over 9. Square root that, we get 10 root 70 over 3, which is 27.88866755. So 27.9 metres per second to 3 sig fig. Okay? So that's how I can solve this problem. 